Hey everybody, this is Dave Basulto. We are back in Adobe Premiere Pro CS4 introductory tutorials, getting to know Adobe Premiere Pro CS4 here on filmmakingcentral.com. Today we're going to take a look at what to do if you've got unlinked or missing footage. So let's take a look. So here we're going to open up, uh, we, we launched Premiere and we've got our welcome screen. And we're going to launch our tutorial project. And right away, we're given this really scary box that tells us uh, where is the file spa111a.mov. Now, usually it's not showing where it is, so you might have to do a search for it, or you can come down here, click on skip, which uh, next time you launch Premiere Pro, it will ask you once again where it is, or you can choose to offline it which will skip this screen and Premiere Pro is basically letting you uh, let Premiere Pro know when you want to find this file. So yes, we know the files here. If you found it, you can of course select it and press select and that will reestablish the link. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to click offline for now. And we're going to launch Premiere Pro. And here we are in Premiere Pro. And as you can see, if I drag this in, it says media offline. Uh, this horrible red thing. It's really horrible if you have a sequence of maybe it's your feature film or something and maybe you happen to move some things or even rename them which is another problem. You could have uh, instead of SPA 111 maybe you called this uh, Art Beats footage or whatever. Um, so that would cause it to be offline as well. Um, one thing about Premiere Pro is that when you put your footage in here, or your assets, uh, be they movie files, AVI, I mean any kind of uh, video format, uh, your PSD files from Photoshop, Illustrator files, uh, JPEGs, whatever they are, music, um, sound effects, Premiere Pro just references those, uh, so it's looking for them on your hard drives. It does not contain them in a self-contained file, so it's not like they collect all the assets and puts them into a nice little folder and uh, for Premiere Pro. However, you can do something like that and we will look at that later, but off the bat, it does not do that. So now we're uh, stuck with this. Also, if I double clicked on this, it's gonna ask me to edit my offline file. So it's asking me if I wanna re-capture um, it and it's telling me here's the media, start and end, where is it, blah, 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 what's the tape name. And so it gives you an option, but that's a pain in the butt. So what we're going to do is right click and choose link media. And here is this wonderful box once again. Now, going back really quick, you could, for example, have this in your timeline. And let me just drag this down here once again. So let's say this is part of your movie, you're flying over and a big explosion, and then you're flying over again. So you can certainly have it there as a placeholder. Uh, it's not gonna do anything. You know, eventually you're gonna have to find the footage. So what we're gonna do is go back in here. We're going to right click link media, and we're going to, uh, let's say I, I knew it was in the Art Beats area, and I'm going to my starter kit, NTSC clips, and I don't see it here, but I made a folder to trick myself called moved footage, and there it is. I click select, and now if I just move this, you can see my beautiful Art Beats space footage from Star Trek is there. So, hope this helped you, and uh, if you get that red bar of death that says um, media offline, uh, you can find your media. So I'm Dave Basulto. Hope that helped you. Uh, come back to Filmmaking Central for more Adobe Premiere Pro CS4 tips. Thank you.